Hey guys, it's Shannon Tip. Today I'm going to be showing you guys my fall beauty con box. I just got it and I'm super excited to show it to you guys. But first, real quick, I just wanted to plug, I am having a back to school giveaway. It ends at the end of this month, so the end of September. And it is for the Ciate Chalkboard Manicure Set. And what you get, you get this cute little set. And um, it's got a mattifying top coat, like full size. Um, one, two, three, four like markers that you can actually draw on with this Ciate Chalkboard Paint Pot. Um, it's actually pretty much nail polish that acts as like a chalkboard and then you can write, you could doodle, you could do whatever. And then you get this matte top coat, or I guess you could put a glossy top coat, but matte would probably look more chalkboard like. And I thought this was super cute for back to school, kind of with that old school back to school theme. So uh, if you want, a way to enter I will leave my Instagram down below um, recently I posted a picture of that so just go to that image and it'll tell you everything that you have to do from there so anyway this is um, the fall beauty con box last quarter beauty con is a quarterly seasonally box I will put how much it is below and what they do is they work with like youtubers I think every single box I've gotten has been a YouTuber. So they work with YouTubers and kind of curate a box based on the things that they use and like and all that fun stuff, which is really cool. Um, last month was Candy Johnson and it was full of mostly skincare, which is fine. I still use some of that stuff. I mean, some of the stuff I like um, used up, but I still am using some of it and I really liked it because her products like spoke to me and she was like oily skin like me. So this month is actually, let me open it curated by two people um his name is on hell angel but he's known as mac daddy here on youtube and instagram and then makeup by shayla so i thought that was cool i don't follow i think i follow him on instagram but i don't and i think i recently followed her because of this but i don't like subscribe to them on youtube so i'm actually gonna have to and see what they're all about but you got a whole bunch of their favorite beauty products this is all beauty i'm pretty sure if i remember correctly i've opened this i've used a couple of the things in it but i haven't like gone into it deep because i like to keep everything together so i don't lose it for these videos but as always you open it, it says oh hey beauty and then right here it comes out it tells you how to like post um your box, your unboxing, which is cute. So, you get this beautiful gold wrapping, and here are the goodies, so I'm just gonna show you. So the first thing is what I'm actually wearing on my lips, and I'm actually loving it. This is the first time I've worn it. And it is from Ofra, and it is the um, Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in Mocha. And um, you can get 30% off at OfraCosmetics.com with the code BEAUTYCON. Um, sorry, my nose is like, tickling me. So I will leave my blog down below with a blog post with all these items just in case there are any coupon codes. Sometimes this actually has coupon codes on it. I will leave all the links there that way you don't have to go search for it. So this is just like a beautiful, um, like mocha to me, I guess when I think of mocha, I think of when I order like a mocha shake or a mocha frappuccino. It's like a dark, like a, yeah, like a darker brown, but this is more of like that perfect mauve lip color. I'm loving it. It is matte. And um, it smells slightly of like cookies, which is really nice. So let me swatch it on my hand. And I just think the formula is like that moussey kind of formula that's kind of like the tart um, lip paints. But it's super gorgeous. Like I could see myself wearing this as an everyday color. And I think it's really pretty. And I'm loving it. I keep looking at myself. But I think this is a perfect... Oh, my part makes me look like I'm bald there. Um, don't mind that. Um... I think this is perfect for any season. So I will be wearing it all fall and winter. And if I run out, honestly, I might actually buy this. I don't, I own one thing from Ofra, but I got it in like a beauty birch box. So it was like an eyebrow pencil. So um, I'm going to be checking out. I don't know the prices, but I don't think it's like too expensive, hopefully. So I really like that color. If you guys are looking for a color like this, definitely check it out. Next is a little fashion item. It's from Laser Kitten and it's just this little lipstick pen, pin, not a pen. Um, it's super cute. That's what the back looks like. So you can like attach this to your bags, your um, shirts, your jean jackets. So I thought that was really cute. I actually got a pin like this, only it was a camera in my Aspen Ovard box. And so I might be like sticking these together on like my jean jacket that I just bought. Next is from Milani and it's a full size Bella Cafe Satin Matte Bella Eyes Gel Powder Eyeshadow. I actually have three of these. They're all like One's a navy, one's a silvery blue, and one's a gray that I actually got at the Dollar Tree. So this, did I say the color? It's 04 Bella Cafe. Super pretty packaging is like the perfect brown color. And these are so soft. It's like, what, are they, what do they call them? Gel powder. It's like super like 
I don't know how to describe it. It does feel like a gel powder. So that's what it looks like. It's just like a slight, it's not matte. Well, I don't know. Let's see, it's hard to tell. Oh, I guess it's matte. I don't know, do I see slight? I don't know, it's either matte or there's like the tiniest bit of luminosity in there. But it's a good like um, everyday color all over the lid color. It's not like super pigmented, but it's just, I mean, it's a light brown. It's gonna be good for pretty much everybody. And I could use this as like a transition color or all over the lid and smoke it out. So that was pretty cool. Next is a brush from Luxie. I do have one or two brushes from Luxie that I actually got from um, Ipsy, I almost said Instagram. And this is the 504 Large Angled Brush. Um, I don't know, like, I don't know if this is for contouring because I obviously don't contour. This is driving me nuts. Is it driving you guys nuts? Okay. I don't contour, but what I like to use these angle brushes for is um, blush. I don't apply blush that often, but when I do, I actually have another one of these brushes, but it's kind of like old and doesn't really work really well. So what I do is I put the blush on, I tap it off, and then I just put it on like the apples on my cheeks and kind of bring it up. And I don't know, I like the angle of it because it helps diffuse it because I don't like bright blush. I like a really natural blush. So I'm going to be using for it for that. It is super soft and pretty flexible, but not so flexible where it's super flimsy. So I like that. Next is a little snack from Sugar Fina. It's just these like gummy lips. Now I've been waiting to like open these and try them because I love like gummy and textured stuff like this, but I wanted to show you guys how cute. So I'm gonna try one. I've never heard of Sugar Fina, but it sounds like a fun place to go if it was like a store. So let's see if I can open this without taking forever. Ooh, okay. So let's try this red one on the end. I love like gummy stuff like that. Ooh, I wonder if it's sour. Mm, I love gummies. Okay, tastes like medicine. It's definitely cherry. I'm not gonna try them all, but I hope they're not all that flavor. Like, I like the gummy, they're a little bit sour, but do you guys have that thing where like, like all like cherry things to me and sometimes it well most of the time grape things taste like medicine so I don't know why they make candies that flavor flavor like that but or why they make medicine flavor like that but I guess it's better than non flavor medicine I don't know so anyway the next thing in here it looks full size is the brow gal by Tonya Crooks and it's the double ended shimmer slash highlight gold slash nude highlighter pencil so it kind of reminds me of the um, pixie thing we got in an Aspen box. And the one side is this like matte thing. And I did kind of, play, well, I didn't put this on today, but I played around with it. And it feels super creamy. It's not like drying, but like, I don't, I don't know. I'm a little like, that's the gold. It's like super gold. And then this is the matte. So I don't know if I would put, like if I put anything under my brows, it would be shimmer, I think. I don't know. It's, again, I say this on my videos, but I'm like still really new. I kind of did my brows a little bit differently today. You guys tell me if you like them or not because you guys are always like honest about how bad my brows look, but I'm trying to like do something different. So let me know. But I don't like put anything underneath them, but I feel like this is like too gold. No, I thought like under it was supposed to be like a champagne or I don't know, but this would be really pretty like maybe on the inner corner. I kind of just rubbed it out with my finger and it's pretty. So maybe all over the lid, I don't know. And then this matte, I'm not super sure. I think it might be a little bit too warm for me. I don't know. You guys let me know, but this is a cool product and I like that it's full size and that you get two choices and it wasn't just like a matte or it wasn't just a shimmer. Next is from Mystic Tan and this is the Mocha Kissed Bronzer Lotion. Awesome because now we're going into winter and fall, fall and winter and my 1% of the tan that I got this summer is going to fade. And so this is, uh, let's see, warm bronze under, warm brown undertones. It says, get instant mocha kissed confident skin, a double punch of instant cosmetic color while gradually, bleh, can I not talk, while gradually building a natural tan. So you can kind of see it instantly and it'll build up, which is really cool. I usually prefer, I don't know, instant because I like instant gratification. <coughs> Excuse me. But I also like things that like show your Instagram gratifications, but then like get darker. That way you're not like, bam, real dark all at once, even though that's kind of what a spray tan is. So um, it says it's for fair, ruddy, olive, and medium skin tones. So that's a quite 
a large range. I feel like that's all ranges pretty much, except for dark, but like if you're dark complexion, you wouldn't really use this. And it has odor technology to dramatically reduce tanning odor, which is awesome because I hate that and I'm sure everybody else does. Let's smell it. Hmm. It doesn't really have a, like it has a scent, like a chemical -y scent, but it's not super strong, but I guess I would have to see like what it is on my body because that's the real test. I hate self tanners that smell horrible because I put them on and then I go to bed and I just feel like I reek. One time I put it on and then I went on a plane and I just felt like everybody could smell me, even though they probably couldn't, but I just hate that smell. But anyway, next we get a pair of Flutter lashes, which I'm super excited about because I've heard a lot of people on YouTube raving about these, like Casey Holmes loves these. And these are by Makeup by Shayla. So these are her own lashes and these are limited edition. The packaging is cool. I did open these. Um, but the packaging is cool. And you also get some duo eyelash adhesive, clear white, which is cool because um, I always need eyelash glue when I wear eyelashes. I only wear eyelashes like to special occasions. Like I don't wear them when I film. I don't wear them every day because I don't know how people do that. Like I love the way eyelashes look, but I just feel like the people around me in my situation would be like, why are you wearing eyelashes? So um, these are cool. Let me show you guys. I mean, I was going to read you the back, but obviously they're just like eyelashes. But these are super cool. Now I see why people like... Are obsessed over them they're different than any lash I personally have ever seen I mean I'm sure it's probably been done before but can you guys see it's like I mean they're like stacked lashes you know how I don't do this but like some people put more than one pair on but these are like already stacked for you if can you see yeah there's like two like there's one way up here and one down there so I don't know like how that would look Cause like your real lashes aren't like that. I don't know. It looks crazy to me, but I'm sure it looks really cool on the eye. So um, I don't have any like weddings or any special events coming up. So I'm going to be keeping these, but hold on. I have a poll for you guys because I was always taught when I first wore lashes, like back in high school for prom that you should kind of like not halfway, but like trim them to here and only wear them on the outside of your eyes to kind of give a more natural effect. But now when I look at people on YouTube, they take this whole thing and put it on their eye and they look fine but I feel like that's not really like naturally I mean yeah it's a little bit small over here but I feel like naturally I don't know but then I look at myself in pictures and you can kind of tell when I look down that like there's lashes here so what do you guys do do you guys put the whole thing on maybe just trim it a little bit to fit your eye or do you only do kind of like more of the outer half let me know I would love to know that way I don't look like a crazy person every time I wear eyelashes Next is from Jouer. I actually do own this and it's almost out. I think I got it from a birch box and this is the essential lip enhancer. It's just like a glossy chapstick kind of thing, but I do really enjoy it. It looks like this. It's clear. It smells nice. It smells like, like semi floral, but it leaves my lips super moisturized and glossy. I like to put this on over like mattifying lipsticks like this. If they feel really dry that way, like I can kind of spread the color around and make it look more glossy without like over glossing it and it's super moisturizing so I really like that. And then we get some simple wipes. There are seven in here. I'm going to throw this in my workout bag because I like to take all my makeup off after work before I go working out and there's looks like coupons in it. And then the final thing in here is just some cute stickers that I might stick in my planner. Um, those are super cute. Like that purse is cute. There's a ring which I'm not wearing mine, oh no, but super cute. So that is the Fall Beauty Con box by Mac Daddy and Makeup by Shayla. I think it's a really good box. I think the only thing I have to say is I feel like other boxes had more in it. Like if you guys know what I mean, like um, past boxes have had, bleh, have had like jewelry or like more, like I don't know. I mean, you got a lot, you got what? Makeup wipes, like I feel like whoop, you got a bunch of stuff. I don't know, it's kind of like that thing, like I wish there was like two more items. If you guys know what I mean, like I just feel like, let me look on the back here. I don't know, I just feel like it's missing something. Like my favorite thing, honestly, is this. Like this is amazing, I was super excited to get this color because when I like was looking online what we were getting, like they didn't have pictures but they had like a list because I'm sneaky like that and it said this in mocha and I was like crap, I hope that's not like a brown that I, like I can't pull off but I'm super excited because I feel like this is a color most people can pull off but um usually like this list goes down to about here so I don't know if this had less products but I do think they were all really great sizes like I think they were all full size I mean I think this is full size um this might not be but it's still a great travel size and like I don't know if this is full size but I think this is a 
good size, but like there wasn't anything like super tiny. So I think this is a pretty great box. Um, let me know down below if you get Beautycon um, or if you guys have any other suggestions of unboxings that you guys want me to do. I'm always open, always listening to you guys. And make sure, again, you check out my Instagram down below so you can enter my giveaway for the Seattle Nail Kick. And make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I'll talk to you guys later.